So let's give it a try with New England Biolabs. It's the other big company with a lot of uh, chemicals and things for cloning. So they have as well plasmids. Let's see what they have. So they have a DNA plasmid substrate. Let's see what they have here. Um, they don't have too many, which is good. Oh, here they have a registered trademark, I think, or something like that. So it's proprietary. Let's see how much information they give us. So those are the regions, the product information. What is it for? Oh, the map which allows to see if we can use it or not. It has the most important parts, the operator, the uh, ribosome uh, binding site. Nice. Okay, so let's see, region supplied. Is that is uh, 400, oh, 40 microliters. Okay, with the high concentration, then what is the property and usage here are the required equipment or materials but are not sold with it okay it has the pasta gene bank sequence let's check it out yep look look how pretty um when it was submitted the qualifiers it has let's see the authors is a direct submission but where i don't know if they are in a repository hmm i have to check because it does not seem to have a repository id let me check again it's called p snap tag t7 i mean it's already like a lot uh there is no accession number uh, so it's not in a repository, at least not that we can find one of the independent repositories from uh, New England Biolabs. That means that if New England Biolabs will go bankrupt or something happen with their website, there will be no trace of this, at least not in a repository. Okay, good. Advantages and features, the background, it tells us what it is for which other strains are working for it all the products the same thing notes um here what is concentration <gasps> look how pretty they give us the exact composition of the buffer um and references look those are all the people that have used it which is not bad but okay let's see here protocols manual we have the manual then two resources um i don't know if you have some problems with it this is important it has been used in several new oh look there it is it's a preprint very relative new um so it's P news. Nice. Okay. And oh here we go. So is it reusable? How is the licensing? So the quality control, this is always good. Uh, change notifications in oh in this in the sheet. There has been some changes. Then certification of analysis, which is always good safety data sheets um, because we always have to have a data sheet a safety data sheet and let's see legal and disclaimers so um, license at least they said what the license is so it says here the buyer you see has a non-exclusive license to use this system or any component thereof for research and development only so we can use it and it's clear what you cannot use it is for commercial use, but yeah. And then there are all the things that are here, who has the patents. Um, yeah, really nice, nice, nice. Okay, so yep, this guy's got it right. Nice. Now the question is, 
can I download the sequence? I mean, we could click on it and we got the sequence, but sequence details aha uh -huh, look they do have it they have all of them um where is it oh my god there are more than we saw before um what was the name of this thingy the snap the snap tag t2 yeah this one so we have a fasta and gene bank um no map but the gene bank is enough uh, the question is, can I do it online? So I copy the link address. Okay, let's see if we can get the sequence. Mm. Okay, looks not good. Let's see what it is in there. Mm. Nope, it doesn't find it. When we use, we get. I cannot access, access it directly from the computer. Okay, let us see if we can access these original papers that they give here for reference. your institution and as you see here it's not accessible okay not let's see the next one Cypress seems to be accessible. Let me just check. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, with my account, I don't know if it will be accessible at all. Let's see. Yep, it's accessible. Yay! Okay. So let's go back. Um, this one. I think PNA is accessible. Yep, PNA is accessible. Okay. And let's put the last one. not accessible okay so from four two are accessible two are not 50 50 chance that you get to know how it was everything produced but at least some of it you can get an idea how it works NEB is much better than the one that we saw before with Thermo, but it's still a lot of things that could be improved. Um, but it's definitely a plus that you can find the sequence and a gene bank uh, because then we can use any independent software or package in Python or R to uh, draw the map so we are not bound to a commercial uh, software. They are quite expensive. Um, yeah, so that's good. Um, still, it's missing to put it in a repository, like official repository. We have the NCDI and the ENA in Europe. Yeah, those things maybe should be proved. Um, but in general, at least we can work with it and we know what the conditions are. 
Uh, it can be that in the one that I saw before in Thermo Scientific, it was not that good uh, visible, but it's really difficult to go over the whole information and make a decision. Can you use it or not? So, see you in the next one. Okay, bye.